everybody. It's James Davenport, and I'm here with Rachel Watts, staff writer. Yes, hello, hi. Yeah. What we're going to do is talk about like five, a nice spread, like you'd say, of like good mods to have, good mods to try. A lot of the mods to do with Stardew also have to do with like organization <laughs> and easy access. So I've tried my best to kind of go for kind of fun ones and those kind of um, tool inspired ones. Because yeah. you can't just, you can't get, you can't get carried away with like, Oh, having lists and Excel spreadsheets and all sorts of <laughs> nonsense. All the all these mods are available on Nexus Mods. Gotcha. So I'll cool. start with the first one, which is a Pacifist Valley. Pacifist Valley. So we talked about how um, Stardew is very relaxing, but as you said, everyone forgets that there's a horrible mines filled with monsters mm -hmm. and stuff that wants to kill you. <laughs> so maybe if you're not really into that side of Stardew Valley, there's a mod that instead of attacking monsters, you can hug them instead <laughs> and they will not <laughs> they will not attack you back. A so, great yeah. start. A good, good, good vibes for, for the mod list so far. <laughs> All right. What else we got? The second one is called, um, I think everyone who is into the Stardew Valley mod scene will know of Stardew Valley Expanded. It's just what it says on the tin. It's a like a bunch of new uh, content for the game. So like we're not just talking about ooh a few new characters. We're talking locations, character events, new NPCs, um, new tools. Like there's just a, a massive, hmm. massive like list of new additions to the game. I don't know how long it took this person. I think it's one person. When I was like looking around to have a look, see what the best mods were. Like everyone was talking about Stardew Valley expanded. Pretty it's decent. just really cool. If these were numbered, they're not, but this would probably be number one. Right, for this sure. is kind of like the overhaul you gotta do. So, the next one is this is a bit more of a, a tool aspect, but one that <laughs> I just I downloaded it, changed my experience forever, which is the NPC map locations. Everyone, all the characters have their own routines, yeah. schedules, and finding them can honestly be just like an, a hunt. You're hunting them down. <laughs> <laughs> This mod on your map, you can see in real time where characters are moving. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you want to go see, if you're pursuing a character, you you want to know where they are, you can open <laughs> up your map. Yeah. See that little icon and go find them. That's how <laughs> most normal marriages start. Next mod okay. is the look up anything mod. And so this look up anything mod is you can hover your mouse over any crop, any tool, any character. You can press F1 and it will tell you everything about that character or object. So for instance, with crops, it will tell you how many more days it takes to, for it to be fully ripe. With characters, it will give you the list of everything they like and dislike. Mm. With enemies, there's a HP bar, just like all the, those kind of like little details to like make your life easier instead of opening up a browser, yeah. finding the wiki and being like, oh wow, Leah doesn't actually like oranges or whatever that much, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So yeah, that's so that's so helpful. It just kind of surfaces the kind of stuff you would Google anyway. So yeah, the last one is the tractor mod. It just doesn't make sense that you don't have what every farm in real life has, which is a tractor. And essentially what you can do is ask the tractor to either like mass fertilize your crops. Mm. You, it can act as a scythe for collecting crops. It can till the dirt. So the idea with this is that if you have like, a you know, if you're going for a really big bulk, bulky farm mm -hmm. with loads of farmland you don't want to be doing that one square two square like um, yeah. action if you're looking for mass production the, the tractor mod is just a really great way of just getting all that super fast doing farming super fast especially when you're on a time limit mm -hmm. cool right on. so yeah that was my list really it was all five 